This video was going to be on Patreon, but because most of you wanted this on YouTube, I decided to bring it here. But you're also welcome to become a member because I talk about more similar subjects, even some exclusive content that I don't mention on YouTube. Now, many of you know that I have sincere respect for the MTA. You know, having the, the largest bus fleet in the United States, the largest subway line in the world, and two of the busiest commuter railroads in the United States. But, unfortunately, one thing that the MTA is known for doing often is asking for a bunch of money that they already have to begin with on infrastructure plans that some of them don't get me wrong they've they've helped to some degree while others they're just completely pointless now now of course i'm mainly referring to the interborough express now the interborough express is the proposal of basically just having an old freight line in between brooklyn and queens re-established Ish as either a, a commuter-like rail system, a light rail, or a bus rapid transit. Now, you know me. I have nothing against trains whatsoever. You know, trains, are they're, they're really nice. And admittedly, I like trains and everything. In some cases, I like them more than buses. But a BRT system would be cheaper and so much more practical. Now, why do I say this? Because of the fact that uh, don't get me wrong, um, there's areas like 14th Street, Jamaican Avenue, and a few others, even some place on Highland Boulevard on Staten Island. And, um, they have um, bus lanes and um, places that are completely free of cars and only open to buses, and that's helped to some degree. That's, that helped the buses to be a little bit faster. But if there could be an entire dedicated lane starting with just one bus route what and then next thing you know branching out to more that could be within the five bar um within the the boroughs of brooklyn queens not the five of course that could really give buses the elevated boost that it needs because the reason why so many people are skeptical on taking a bus nowadays is not only because of some of the some of the conflicts that may arise between some passengers and some bus operators but also because of the fact that there's some of us that reason why should i take a bus to work if it's going to be stuck in traffic and that's because of the fact that there were some bus routes that that um was around a few years ago but um in recent years years because of the increase in traffic it's gotten slower and that discouraged some people from taking the bus and going inside their cars and because they're going inside their cars that that basically just leads a drawback for buses like admittedly like i know i've mentioned this before a few times especially on youtube and also here on patreon is that when andy byford um was the um president of new york city transit i admired the fact that under his tenure that he was able to change some of the bus routes especially the express bus here on staten island because yes for some you may have had to walk a little bit further to your stops but let's face it, the express bus is faster. In fact, I even got a friend at, out of um, Charleston Depot that told me that that um, the routes are much easier than before and he's on one of the sim routes often. So I said all that to say that that I'm annoyed with the MTA. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm annoyed with the MTA. Hey, because of the fact that they've They've just, they're just constantly trying to say that uh, we're, we're going to have something better and, you know, it's just going to be more expensive. And I'm not saying that bus rapid transit is not without its disadvantage. The, the downside, of course, is that there may be fewer passengers, but in some cases, there's more frequency. The more buses there are available and the better the service is, the more people will rely on them. The more people rely on buses, the less cars there will be on the road. And the less cars there will be on the road, the greater traffic will be.